Oh, hey traders, welcome to the video. Please pause the video and make sure you understand the disclaimer before proceeding. Just taking a look at the NASDAQ at the moment, I've got a uh, downtrend. What we do have under here is this double bottom creating a liquidity pool under. Market wicks down into it, trades back up. Okay, so we have a, uh, a gap here as well. So if you have a look at this wick, uh, candle I should say, to the left, the low, and to the right, the high. Okay, we do have a, an imbalance on the daily. I'll just mark that up. Gap, it'll do. Okay, I would think the market might look to trade back through this gap, possibly up into this level through here. So we'll just call that, uh, let's call it support and resistance, shall we? <laughs> okay. And we got this trend line running through and definitely room for this to kind of move back up into this 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 area here. Especially after we see this set up here, this double bottom and it's wick down. Okay, market's definitely tapped into liquidity here and we can see now we've got a bullish candle. So, you know, it's Monday. Be careful. The markets have been bearish for sure, but uh, usually at the beginning of the week, uh, sometimes we see, and quite often, I mean, we see the market move in the opposite direction, trades back up into it, and then Tuesday or Wednesday, it rolls over and uh, we continue down. But at the moment, I'd be careful. If you got any yen pairs short, I would, uh, I would be taking profit now. Bitcoin, yeah, Bitcoin could rally. Might be some opportunities to counter trend trade some of the end pairs, possibly back up into here. And I'll be keeping an eye on this midline through here. Let me just mark that up. Mid range, mid that'll do. Kind of comes into play with the diagonal. So that that to me is a key level of resistance right here. Have a look at it quickly on the four hour. I mean, there's no trade opportunity as such. I mean, you could. <laughs> I was going to say could go for a counter trend here, but uh, yeah, be careful. If we get a break of this high, I would say a break retest, like of this range, break retest of this high. And, you know, we see it shaping up here for a continuation. Well, that could be something, but uh, I, I would prefer to trade it short and wait for the pullback. So if this retraces up higher back into these levels, I'd be definitely looking for an opportunity to short it up around in here somewhere so we've got that as well you know, levels back here okay this is the gap on the daily we can see I'd be looking to load up on shorts up through here whatever your lot size is break it up into four or five smaller pieces <laughs> stop loss above up here and uh, that's what I'd be looking for if I was gonna get involved with this but uh, let's just see how it plays out. Monday, you know, we can see the markets generally move in the opposite direction. Tuesday, we should start to see a, a trend shaping up. The other thing to do with this is to mark up your weekly, uh, your weekly open. Keep an eye on that. Just see how it trades. It could trade all week. It could trade uh, north. I mean, we don't know. But that's important if you go out to the daily here. Let's have a look. I generally go through and mark up all my currency pairs. So the weekly open here, uh, it's Monday. So we'll just throw this under this green candle. And uh, I've got that saved. So we can call it level W open. Right, I'll keep an eye on that. See how the market behaves around this level. And uh, see where it goes for the week. That's about it, I think, guys. Check the link below. There's a link to my Discord group. Good value. And it's free to join. So you're welcome to uh, join me in Discord. With that, safe trading. See you in the next one.